they make my boobs look more perky even though we all know that's not the case <laughs> but they just look really really good What's up besties? Good morning. It is Father's Day today and there are no kids in this house. I'm still vegging in bed. I think actually I might just spend this whole entire day in bed. No breakfast to cook for anyone. No nappy to change for anyone. It's God. Happy Father's Day! <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel to be to celebrate Father's Day with no kids around? Ah, what a Father's Day! <laughs> kids around. What type of Father's Day is that? <laughs> you have a voice note. Morning, mommy. Did you sleep well? Happy Father's Day to you, mommy. <laughs> Happy Father's Day, mommy. I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> Keep has been chatting with my mom's phone. Oh my god, this girl. It is so cute and so funny at the same time. Sending selfies and stuff. It's so adorable. Look at what Kiki just sent me. <laughs> so adorable. Chocolate for breakfast because ain't nobody get time to cook porridge. Do you want porridge, honey? For mm -hmm. Father's Day breakfast? Mm -hmm. Say hey, baby. Hi, Mama. Hey, Rele. How are you? Are you driving? Hello. Morning. <laughs> oh, hello, Vilela. Hi. Hi, Nella. I'm so <laughs> I did. Did you see that I found? Did you laugh at the dancing cats? I sure did. <laughs> How did you find them? Oh, that's easy. I just. Oh. I clicked on that emoji face. Uh -huh. And you see the these little blocks below? Uh -huh. It says emojis. Uh -huh. Give and, and um, something like a sticker. Ah. Oh, yeah. I see. You're so clever. You're figuring this out so fast. Let's see, Relay. I'm good at chit chat. You are so good. Hey. Oh, buddy. You got food face. What did you eat? Wait, let me talk to Relay, babe. Yeah. It is 2 p.m. And I finally managed to peel myself out of bed. Well, the actual bed. I'm now on another bed. Basically. So I'm going to watch that Kevin Hart movie. Fatherhood. Oh, you're filling it up. Thank you. Fatherhood was such a cool movie. It's actually so weird how society, like we always focus on the narrative where it's just single mothers and mothers all the time. I don't know if you guys have watched the movie already, but the part where Kevin went into the support groups it said parent support group but then obviously when he got there they're like no this is a mother support group and he's like really because i'm pretty sure the sign said parent support group and I, it just that hit home it hit hard you know because i'm like oh my gosh we always just like mothers this mothers that mothers here and there but we forget that they're actually single fathers out there for different reasons others by choice others by circumstances just like single mothers are there by choice circumstances and it's crazy how we just never look at that narrative but it is literally only 4 p.m. right now. Time is not moving today. <laughs> this has been the longest day for sure. And? Mm. Oh my god, it's so good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Seriously. Good morning, besties. 
It is a work day today. 10 minutes after 8 a.m. right now. I've got a meeting at half past eight, so I just wanna quickly log into my computer, have the spreadsheet open, and then do that meeting. We don't even have hot wood. I wanted to shower before I start work, but Dizzy couldn't put up the geyser, but it's fine. I just did, so I gotta wait for that to warm up before I take a shower. So this is the list that I got from SCCM regarding the OS built version that's currently sitting on the execs machines. Good, thank you. How was your night? Good. Was it good? Yeah. What did you eat? <laughs> what did you eat? Hi, no, no, how can you want to leave the hotel? Yes? You want to drive home? Yes. Oh, okay, we'll come get you, don't worry. Peekaboo! I'm only driving us. Peekaboo, Nella! I'm good, how are you? <laughs> outside. Outside? I go outside. You too, Nola? When I come Hello, Ma. Ma. Yeah, Ma. <laughs> Nola, say Mama. Mama. Yeah, mama. If hungry was a person, it would look exactly like me. I just realized that the kids are actually our lifeline when it comes to eating meals. Like, it's so difficult to figure out what to eat when the kids are not here. First of all, Dizzy doesn't even eat that much, so I have to figure out what I want to eat, which means I'm in this by myself. It is so ridiculously hard. So I haven't had anything to eat and it is half past 11. I'm being very grateful for our children right now because if it weren't for them, I probably would be starving every single day. <laughs> I'm laughing so hard at the picture that my mom sent me. This one where Rile is pulling a blanket and she says to me, so he keeps pulling this blanket all day and keeps saying it's mine. <laughs> And I'm like, yeah, that's that's the story of his life. That's why I packed two blankets so you can give Bonola one and then you can save the other one for him, the smaller one, because if it's soft, it's his and he's going to pull it all day. Look at this girl sipping on juice, making it fashion. <laughs> oh, I had water bottle ripped. It popped last night. It was actually this big. I think Dizzy just made it bigger now. Literally popped in the night. That's why we woke up and made flapjacks. I think we've had this for like two years, if not three years now. So it's really, 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 really old. Dizzy's reflexes just kicked in so quickly because as soon as it popped, he literally jumped up and said, what happened? Oh, what's happening? Oh, what happened? And as soon as he said that, I just knew. I knew the hot water bottle popped. So I moved the blankets quickly. He jumped up, grabbed it before it spilled on the bed and took it to the bathroom. It, it kind of spilled on his leg a little bit. So he was kind of sort of sore for the night, but just for a little bit, he says he's fine now. Long story short, <laughs> Hot water bottles are life, but at the same time, they can be kind of sort of dangerous. You just need to be careful and don't let kids sleep with hot water bottles. I do not recommend that. I've never recommended that. Like, I would rather keep it in bed for them before they get to bed, just to warm up their bed. So when they get in, the bed is nice and warm and then remove it when they get to bed. I don't recommend letting kids sleep with hot water bottles. Adults are fine. You improvise. Your reflexes hopefully are quick enough to kick in before it burns you. But... With that being said, I'm off to buy another one. They always put hot water bottles here. Does this mean they're all sold out? No way. I'm back home. I'm going to show you guys a quick haul of what it is that I bought. Some of which I wasn't even at the store for. Bread, honey and oat. This one is yummy when we make a cheese sandwiches. Like toasted cheese. Stock margarine. Country spread because we're all out. Inkomasi. Two of the hot water bottles. This one I got with the cover because I don't think we have an extra cover. And this one we'll just put it back in the cover. From the one that popped last night. Some large eggs. We go through these phases where everybody's just so into eggs and we eat eggs a lot. And then I love I don't nobody wants eggs so I just buy them in little boxes of six because eggs are also very expensive two pack of frying pans they're orange I know I don't mind the color I bought them specifically to use when 
Dizzy makes roti because roti if I'm like because he's frying for long it just stains the pan and it just makes the pan look not cute I also got this three-in-one kata set I was specifically looking for the apple slicer but it comes in a pack of three so I'm like mm, why not we'll see if we can cut potatoes so we can make some yummy chips dinner is in progress here you're making a lot. 36, 9, 12, mm. 13. Holy cow, your hands are so cold. What's up, besties? It has been such a day, you guys. Such a day. I'm literally only picking up the camera now to vlog. And it is 25 minutes after 4 p.m. I worked my booty off today, okay? I just took a shower. Literally 4 p.m. is when I jumped into the shower. And I got up from my seat for the first time since I started working today. It has been that hectic. Anyway, long story short, I am en route, en route, on the way to go pick up our dinner. We ordered Dash Kitchen tonight. We're gonna have like a mini date night at home with no kids. And I'm really excited. I've seen and heard a lot about Dash Kitchen online, on Instagram. I'm personally not big on seafood, but at the same time, I really want to try it. I've heard only good things about it. I was able to stomach seafood from Daruma, so hopefully I'll be able to stomach this one, but it looked so good. I, I couldn't, I, I couldn't not try it, you know, so I'm really excited. I, oh my gosh, I'm so ready just thinking about it. I even dreamt about it last night, you guys. I dreamt I ordered a seafood boil and uh, they delivered the wrong order. <laughs> then the order they delivered was rice, chicken, and just some regular food. And I was just like, wait, this is not my order. But at the same time, I just ate it because I didn't know what was in the seafood boil. The person who delivered came back to us and said, oh, I actually delivered the wrong order to you guys. And I was like, but we kind of sort of ate the other order so it's fine keep the seafood boil we'll order next time we'll just eat the rice and the veggies and stuff it was like a whole spread like a sunday meal which was so funny i'm not sure if it's the owner though somebody commented on the on my videos dash tv because they have a youtube channel too offering to send us a seafood boil and i responded and i said i'm actually happy to pay for it because we were planning to get it this week when the kids are at my parents house so here we are it's really Linda. Home sweet home. I think this is still in a meeting. So the best testament was that we sing it uh I'm on my own. It's still a hot mess in here. It's literally sitting exactly the way it did when the kids left. Nothing has changed. This is our seafood boil. Yummy! I need to figure out though how you I need to figure out what to do here. Do I pop it in the oven? Because it seems cold. And it smells so good. It smells so ridiculously good. I just need the oven to be warm. Can you put foil in the oven? I don't know. I don't know. Gosh, I'm so clueless. Let me ask Google. Wow. Who am I? Do you line baking pans with aluminum foil? Don't use foil in line to line the bottom of the oven. Okay. So can I or can I not? I put it in there with a foil. Wish me luck. Also, I can't tell if this is cooked or not. I mean, I know nothing about seafood, to be honest. I'm just really excited to try this. I just wish it came with some sort of instructions manual on what to do. I actually really hate that disease in a meeting right now because I'm so hungry. Look who's done with the meeting. Now we can eat. I'm so hungry. Just waiting for the food to warm up. A lot of delicious food. And it's hot. Even the potatoes in here are just smashing. Oh my god, it's so good. It's like it never happened. That's all the prawn shells. And the, what's the black things? Oysters. Why are you laughing? On a scale of 1 to 10? I need buffing. <laughs> Seriously, on a scale of 1 to 10? Oh, you made it. I'm happy. On a scale of 1 to 10? 10. Solid 10. 10 and a half. It is right now 25 to 2. 
I'm gonna go ahead and just clean out and tidy up the kids room I wanted to do this during the day but honestly the reality of the matter is I have to kind of sort of be focused on doing work during the day and um, I only have up until Friday <laughs> the kids are coming back this weekend so I'm gonna go ahead and just clean up take out their beddings because I need to wash those take out their beddings sort out their toys there's a lot I need to throw away and then just have everything ready to wash tomorrow morning even if I go to bed late in the night it's fine because I won't have to be too stressed about taking care of kids tomorrow because the kids are not here my biggest struggle is taking care of the kids cleaning working doing everything all at once so the kids are not here I can take advantage of this time and just clean up <laughs> Take me on a treasure hunt I long for something new Have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance? Oh, I wish it was me Every night When I close my eyes I see Jags, but I don't have time to make them, so I'm settling for this and some tea. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> you clean the carpet. You literally can see the shape of the couch right there. Dizzy tells me once upon a time we thought that was dirty, so we swapped the carpet around. I'm like, so what's this? Anyway, as you are. Somebody just got a dose of energy and he's gonna wash the carpet. Telling you if he gets sick, he has to move it because I'm not about to get sick. Nope, on a rope. Look at this guy. What is he doing? Dude, you're gonna break your bones. While he's doing all of that, I am <laughs> gonna go ahead and take a small break and just lay in bed. I'm actually laying in Buddy's bed because it is warmer in here than it is in our bedroom. Initially, I was gonna go to our bedroom, but then I thought to myself, who am I kidding? <laughs> it was cold in there, so I'm just gonna lie in here. Yummy dinner. Some would call this a midnight snack, but it kind of sort of looks like a full meal. <laughs> what do you think? Eight fifty, and I'm still in bed. What's up, besties? I'm telling you, those flapjacks are nice and all, especially after midnight. But let me tell you, waking up in the morning is hard. After we ate the flapjacks, we ended up just washing some of the dishes that we had made. They weren't enough. It was barely half a load of a dishwasher, so we had to wash them manually. So we went to bed at half past one. He said, you know, if you do pick up any issues. Or if there's any concerns, then um Where was this dishing out? Oh, uh, okay. Three slices. Three slices. Yeah, one that had three slices with juice and I finished it all. Wow. Tata was here yesterday. Oh yeah? Last night mm -hmm. I was drinking medicine and then after that we had a bathtub and a blanket. So me and Grandma can cover ourselves in. Oh, wow. <laughs> and how was that? I was sweating like bitter in church. <laughs> I 
Are you having fun at yeah. Grandma's house? Yeah. Oh. Mama, I want to show you something. All right, show me. What's up besties? Good morning! It is actually the last morning of peace and quiet. Well, not really the last morning because tomorrow morning is still gonna be quiet but tomorrow night it's gonna be intense. <laughs> we are getting the kids tomorrow and tomorrow being the 26th of June. I'm gonna try and make the most of this day. It's funny how I was relaxed the whole time just taking it easy, not bothered, not trying to like bother myself with cleaning. We're supposed to get the kids on Sunday but then my mom has to go do some more commitments so we have to get them on Saturday. When I got that text yesterday I suddenly went into this overdrive and this small panic mode to say oh my gosh I feel like I haven't relaxed enough. Oh my gosh I feel like I I haven't done anything I wanted to do because I've been so consumed by work but it is what it is the house is kind of sort of clean so that's fine we cleaned last night literally last night Dizzy washed the couch he says it might need one more layer especially on here like a little bit more scrubbing I wonder if it's gonna be dry on time or in time before the kids are back but yep that's that. It also is still just a hot mess in here. I actually ordered some blankies for the kids and I was hoping they'd be delivered before they get back home because I wanted to actually just set up their rooms and have everything ready for them. When they get back, it's all nice and clean and it smells like fabric stuff now. But I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. Well, if they don't deliver on time. I mean, today it's Friday and I still haven't got that SOS that says your package is on the way or the tracking code. So I don't know. I might end up having to just make their beds with the blankets they were using at least i was able to wash all of their blankets that's why their beds are sitting naked literally all the way from null nulls peanuts bad k bear all the all, everything that's there it's clean i just needed to do that because i never had a moment to do so when they were home because they would be actively using those blankets so it makes me kind of happy that it's done because they will come back home to nice and clean blankies i'm still hopeful that maybe just maybe they will deliver the stuff today maybe i hope not tomorrow because we won't be here in other news we have a power outage and my phone is not even charged i'm sitting on 13 percent of battery life my laptop is on 20 percent <laughs> yummy yummy they use, the, they use the honey to to make it look cute. Yeah. I stepped outside to take a call from my line manager. I get back and oh my god, I'm salivating. This is my food, right? And then there's Dizzy's food. I don't know why he's like this. You know what? I'm gonna enjoy my food. I will. By far the most disgusting meal I've ever had. This is literally the most adorable thing I've seen all day. This is also cute. Now she's walking, you know, she can wear these things. Oh, this is so adorable. Oh my gosh, and it's a three-piece. Real man must have tea. And it feels nice and, and thick, but it's short sleeves. So I suppose real men don't get cold. Honestly, I don't even know why we are buying all these things. Should okay. we just make them yellow inside the house? <laughs> no, there's nothing yellow. It looks like my laptop died while we were out. Our power got cut off and then we got a notification saying obviously it's a power outage and that they're gonna contact City of Joburg to find out what's up with that. And it turns out there was some sort of cable theft situation going on. When we got that, we just went quickly to go grab some food because my phone wasn't charged, my laptop wasn't charged and sitting at home hungry wasn't gonna solve anything. We just got back and the power just got back. So perfect timing. Now I get to work. At least I was still available on my phone to do some work so anybody who called me was able to call me even though when we got back home my phone was sitting on like six percent battery life i'm gonna 
gonna show you guys first what we got at the surprise home. Two pillowcases. This should match with their blankets. I, like I said this morning, I ordered them blankets from Home Choice. Yes, I have become that mom. I have become my grandma. Like you guys, my grandma loved Home Choice. They had the cutest little baby blankets. They were slightly overpriced. I was kind of mad, but I haven't seen blankets like those anywhere else. So I ended up just taking the bullet and buying them. They are winter sheets and they're both fitted which is super nice that's what they look like it was just such a bummer that i couldn't get the ones that have the same exact color but they are the exact same design so i'm not too bothered but they are feeling nice and soft which i really really like dizzy picked this one and i didn't really want to fight him on this it's a fitted sheet too that's all we got from mr price let's do a quick pick and pay clothing haul this cute little dress hot prints everywhere Look at how adorable the sleeves are. This is literally the cutest thing I've seen. This three piece, which is so cute. It's a quadro, I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, you probably can. It's a quadro dress. It's got those little cute prints down there. Comes with a long sleeve vest, buttons and everything. And these little winter tights. <laughs> I'm actually very excited to start dressing her up in dresses because now homegirl can walk. So she's gonna be able to physically walk and not like get herself trapped because the thing with dresses and curling cases they they need step on the dress and they're not able to move forward and they get frustrated and it's a whole mess so with walking it's gonna be so much better it's gonna be like 10 times better on her look at that it's like a whole dinosaur i love this this is a neutral piece it's a whole jumpsuit at the bottom it comes with the vest the buttons and everything and when it comes to nolly knots i prefer the button down um vest just because when you pick her up, I don't want the whole thing riding up and her skin getting exposed. I got her these little dinosaur tights. This is for vanilla, right? Yeah, one to two. And then it's just the regular uh, black basic tights for this little t-shirt, which I think is so stupidly cute. And it's locally produced too, which is nice. Bunch of socks, not, not a bunch, but just four packs of sockings because you can never have enough sockings when it comes to children two jumpsuits these are literally just regular jumpsuits nothing to write home about tie-dye pajamas <laughs> they are so stinking cute that's all i got for nolly knots and then for cables of bunny i got her tie-dye pajamas because sister matching goals pair of leggings not three actually just plain leggings a whole lot of like white low not white black low cut socks because i am so over washing cable bunnies white and pink and different colored socks because she always likes walking around in socks that girl does not wear shoes for nobody and then i got peanut who doesn't need anything right now and this pair of pajamas because home guy loves dinosaurs so much he, he already has a navy pair of pjs also dinosaurs but i got him these ones he is so into dinosaurs it's so funny and cute to watch at the same time busy basil got him this little t-shirt jersey it's, it's a t-shirt that's not too heavy but not too light it's like a i don't know what you call this hmm it's made from recycled fabric i don't know what it's called but it's just plain black oh no i'm just seeing a hole on it that hole Okay, that's not cute. We're gonna have to return this. And then for me, I got these skinny jeans. They are mid-rise. They feel so comfy inside. Literally the only reason why I got them, look at that. They're not as tight like regular jeans. I want it high-rise because the mommy Tommy pooch situation, which I love, no complaints. I'm learning to dress from the body I have, you know, because gone are the days where I was super skinny, flat tummy and everything. I'm a mom of three. I had uh, muscle separation. I still have it to this day. Two and a half fingers wide. I don't even know if there's a way to get that close without getting surgery, which medical aid doesn't cover the surgery because they take it as cosmetic surgery because you essentially would be getting a tummy tuck while you do that. You either embrace it or you get miserable. I'm not about to get miserable. Anyway, the last thing I got for myself are these light jersey slash t-shirt kind of things. I love that they're v-necks. I got this light blue one and this pink one. The one thing I've noticed with me is any Anything that's round neck 
doesn't flatter me at all it just makes me look very uncomfortable it doesn't look good on me but if it's a v-neck it is totally for me so i always gravitate towards getting v-necks even my long sleeve tops are straight up v-necks and they look so good on me they make my boobs look more perky even though we all know that's not the case <laughs> but they just look really really good that's what i got i'm gonna go ahead and rinse these things and um yeah get cracking with work <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to appreciate his craft here but his camera his phone camera won't let him be great just try maybe it's just uh, the friends so me and Dita are always joking and saying we have never actually seen anybody physically walk into loveland or an adult store i don't i don't know where this is going i don't even know if you're allowed to film in there and we've always said one day we're gonna go maybe buy something maybe not buy something but we just want to go just for the curiosity of it i'm personally very curious i want to know what's in there i want to know what it looks like in there so we are gonna go there right now also i'm trying to trick him into coming grocery shopping with me but i told him let's go check out loveland and see what's in there so that's where we're gonna go my heart is pounding a little bit because i don't know what to expect i just imagine i have this image in my head of loveland or adult world being super dark inside and just being slightly creepy what do you imagine Loveland to be like? It's like a toy store. Yeah, but like is it bright and beautiful or uh, is it just dark just, and black? I think it's just depressing in there. So romantic. We are driving into the sunset. Look at that. So pretty. Sure enough, we are here and there's absolutely nobody. <laughs> I don't even know how I feel, so... I mean, we didn't buy anything. The, the setup in there threw me off so hard that I it took me a small minute to focus. What were you thinking? You're gonna get inside the Louis Vuitton store? No, I honestly legit thought, like in my mind, I imagined adult world being like dark. Okay, maybe not dark, but you know, dim, dim, like not too bright. No, that's not a strip club. It's an adult no, store. You, no, you know why? <laughs> You know why I thought of it like that? Mm. Because in my mind anyway, dim lights mm. helps you like see things properly and you like able to focus. Because when we walked in there, it's like super bright. Yeah, it's like a China The store. lighting is like cool white lighting, right? Mm. And some of the products are like bright pink. <laughs> so you're just like, what am I looking at right now? Those China Mall stalls sells the same things. Okay, but why would you want to buy it from China Mall? Isn't it it's like the same thing? Cheap. Everything is made in China. Even Apple iPhone. This iPhone is from China. It's That's assembled what? in China. There's a difference. Exactly, it's the same thing. It's designed in Silicon from Valley. From China. Everything is from China. <laughs> well. All my life, I dreamt of having a guy push the trolley for me while I fill it up with food today's the day even though he parks smack in the middle of the aisle it's better than nothing are we going any minute now he straight up just opened the door for me he's such a cute guy this McDonald's queue is so ridiculously slow and they don't let people customers in because it's level three now so you can't even order inside, you have to thug it out out here. I'd run a thousand miles if I could run with you. And from what I have heard, you do the same thing too. I want to say forever, we could be good together. Guess misery loves company. Better to lay down. I am so sure that we just spent well over an hour, in fact almost two hours, unpacking the groceries, packing it into the cupboards and then coming in here to tidy up the kids' rooms because we have laundry sitting everywhere. This is what their room looks like for right now. It still looks cute. I absolutely adore these sheets. They are so ridiculously soft. Dizzy straight up said I must take a picture because all of this is going to be gone by tomorrow this time. <laughs> we are gonna go ahead and get our booties to bed. Mama, me 
and grandma are ill. But don't but worry, we're trying and trying. We'll never give up. We're fighting this corona. Shut up! <laughs> yeah! 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 And also, there's a, a thing like, almost like a bathtub. But, but it's like, almost like a bathtub. And, uh, ooh. me and grandma added medicine in there and we hide inside and we have the steam and when i got in there and then when i got out my face was soft no they don't have coronavirus they just kind of fluey right now <laughs> i think my mom caught the flu when she was doing laundry the other day and it was cold she caught the cold and now i think kb might have got some too they've been steaming but yeah how do you feel now that the kids are coming back tomorrow? Excited. But I'm tired now. Which part is exciting? That they're coming tomorrow. But Wait. I'm tired now. Okay. How how do you feel about the break, the alleged break you got? Uh never good. <laughs> 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 I think the hard part was that we were working the whole time, huh? So it didn't feel like we were just sitting and not knowing what to do with ourselves. But to be quite honest, not having the kids here was actually quite helpful. We were not too stressed or too rushed or under pressure or getting impatient or, you know, we were just consumed by work. And I feel kind of excited to have the kids back tomorrow. But I will say though, if they had the option to stay another week, I would definitely use that card. That's it. This marks officially the end of the six days that we've been without kids. That's that. And we'll catch you besties on the next vlog. Bye. Tonight we're running on the right track.